Hey, what is up everybody? This is Stevie Breach coming to you here. It's been a long time since we've done one of these, but here we are with the WWE Monday Night Raw 5-point preview for the September 4th, 2017 show. Tomorrow night is going to be a big show that is on the road to WWE No Mercy, then in a matter of one week turned right around uh, into putting WWE basically into WrestleMania season. Already we have two big, uh, I guess you can say, main event matches um, for um, No Mercy with uh, Braun Strowman going up against Brock Lesnar and having Roman Reigns going up against John Cena. Um, there's going to be a lot of other uh, you know matches that fill out that show. But already, who is not ready to buy the WWE Network for $10 a month to watch No Mercy when basically they're giving you two matches that could easily be on WrestleMania 34 and people not complain about what's going to be going on in the show. I can honestly tell you that Braun Strowman is not my favorite wrestler in WWE. Brock Lesnar is not my favorite champion in WWE. But that's going to be one hell of a match. Braun Strowman is one guy that has honestly been built up for... I, I, I'm not sure when he started getting his rise, but... I guess a year ago when they did the brand split and they broke up the Wyatts, um, they've been pushing this guy to get to this point to be a main eventer, to be a main guy. I can remember when Braun Strowman was a part of the Wyatts and people were thinking that he was on the short list of people that could compete against Undertaker at WrestleMania and have a believable match that people would think that Undertaker was going out there building a new streak, going out there against the top guys in WWE. Honestly, at that point, I crapped all over that match, basically saying that I didn't think Braun Strowman was going to be much out of anything. I can honestly tell you that I'm really pleased at where he is on the roster, um, even though it does seem that he has, does have a lot of television matches that don't really mean a lot. Um, in the main event of Monday Night Raw, we are going to be getting a steel cage match. Normally, when that is announced for Raw, you're going to get a big match that is going to have a lot of hype that falls flat. In this match, we're going to get to see Braun Strowman go up against the you know the big show, brought out of the mothballs, put on a television for the first time in forever. I know the big show works a lot of house shows. He does a lot of things for WWE, like going to the Special Olympics, and he does a lot of you know publicity things and radio shows, and he's he's a very noticeable guy that WWE does not want to let go. Um, there was lots of talk of Big Show as well as Mark Henry um, sort of you know parting ways with WWE. Um, WWE likes to keep Big Show, I guess you can say, on ice so they can break him out to have, as you can say, moments where he puts people over. Um, so, so, you know, whenever John Cena needs to pick somebody up and show how strong he is, or they need the freaking WWE ring to collapse on, on live television, and nobody else knows how to do it because the big show's done it three times, and they always act like it's the first time it's ever happened. Um, uh, I, well, the last time we saw this match, it was on Raw, and the ring collapsed, and they acted like this was the biggest thing to ever happen on Raw in forever, even though there was a lot of telltale signs, people were calling the shot on uh, Twitter before it even happened because of the fact that one raw out of the middle of nowhere, they don't put up the the, the side of the ring, uh, which has the uh, like, television side where it can change what it says instead of having the sort of curtain that falls over or the apron, I guess you can say, that says WWE Network or WWE Raw or make sure you watch Night of Champions or, you know, whatever the tagline is. I remember back in TNA, they used to have the uh, DVD of the month advertised on the ring apron, which made people go to shop TNA to buy them and things like that. So yeah, that was pretty smart. But out of the middle of nowhere, they don't use that. They don't use um, the ring posts that have the uh, you know, sort of WWE you know, LED lights on them, I guess you can say. Um, they just didn't bring it to that Raw for some reason. So people were already seeing that this was going to happen. Now here we are, months down the road. I, I can honestly tell you that I don't remember how long ago that match was, but I'm going to guess that it was at least three, four, five, maybe even six months ago. And these guys have not had a rematch, have not had a face-to-face, -face, nothing. 
They have a match. They go out there. They beat the hell out of each other. The only reason one of them doesn't get a win over the other one is because the ring collapses and nobody wants a rematch. It doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Now, here they are. They're really going, going into a steel cage match. Honestly, in this match, you know, Braun Strowman's going into this pay-per-view. He's going to have a match against Brock Lesnar for the championship. Big show. My money is on. He's not even going to have a match at no mercy. So, easily, Braun Strowman for the win. Can these guys have a cage match that people care about on a Raw that Brock Lesnar is not going to be on? I don't think so. I think these guys are just going to go in there. They're going to beat the hell of each other. Braun's going to beat the Big Show. He's going to look like a stud. And he's going to go into no mercy. There's going to be some sort of a false finish where Braun loses. Well, Braun maybe not doesn't lose. But Brock walks out with the belt.